Hello everyone, Jack here from Second Gear and welcome yourselves to Bendy and the Ink Machine. So this game's actually kind of weird. At the moment it is currently free for the first chapter on Steam and the second chapter is only $3.99. I, it's, it's weird to explain. I'll just read about the game and then you, could, you guys can deem for yourselves. But it sounds really interesting. Play as Henry as he revisits the demons of his past by exploring the abandoned animators workshop of Joey Drew Studios. With twists and turns around every corner, Bendy and the Ink Machine is sure to thrill you and decimate your childhood. I'm not paraphrasing, it says decimate your childhood. You'll never look at cartoons the same way again. So I know, I'm kind of, I'm interested to say the least. As far as I know, the first chapter is actually um, about 20 minutes, roughly 20, 30 minutes. So that's cool, nice short sweep. Dear Henry, it seems like a lifetime ago since we worked on cartoons together. 30 years really slips away, doesn't it? If you're back in town, come and visit the old workshop. There's something I need to show you. Your best pal, Joey Drew. Okay. Decimate your childhood, really? So, E to interact, shift, run, space, jump, look around. Okay, so your basic stuff. Weapon? Okay, I like this a lot. Chapter 1. Moving pictures. Oh, yeah, this is oh, old. Joey. I'm here. Let's see if we can find what you wanted me to see. I like the look of it. This looks so good. New objective, find the ink machine. Tip, explore the workshop. Lovely. Okay. I love how old timey it looks. That's so cool. I haven't actually seen anything about this game. Like I haven't seen any gameplay or anything. I forget your name. Shit. I know it's like really old cartoons. Dreams come true. Creepy. So I'm guessing something happened with the ink machine and like Shit's kind of gone a bit odd, to say the least. Oh yeah, this is dark. So now it's like a horror, horror-y uh, experience. I don't know, this, is, this seems kind of cool. I like it, I like it so far. Very quiet. Okay. Oh, all right, so we can turn that on and off. A weapon, now what kind of weapon do you reckon it would be? I want to say that um, cartoon character's name is Felix, but I don't think it... No, it isn't Felix the cat, is it? I'm thinking of something else. Okay, well, we can run. The Dancing Demon. Hey, here's my old desk. I wasted so much time in this chair. Yes, apparently you did. Is Mira, has that gotten darker? So I'm going to go and... I'm going to go ahead and hedge a guess that uh, our first weapon is going to be a crowbar of some kind, just to remove those door panels. I guess we just got to go straight down the dark, dingy corridor. That's fine by me. There's light coming under that door, though. Oh, the ink machine's there. There's music coming from inside there. Okay. See, the thing is with this game is that it said around every corner there's twists and turns. So I don't know if these characters are going to come alive, kind of like a Five Nights at Freddy's kind of deal. Is that a special thing? Bendy. No. Unless the character's name is... That fell from nowhere. Okay. Can I have this? Oh, Jesus! Oh, my God. Joey, what were you doing? Boris the Wolf. Poor Boris, who's laughing now? Alright, shit's gone a bit weird here. Is that poison? Or is that just ink? I don't know. Kind of looks poisoning with this whole skull and crossbones kind of thing. All right, so we can't use any of the drawers or anything. Shall we the wolf? I'm guessing he's dead because of the cliche crosses through the eyes. What the hell's going on here? This is very interesting, though. Sorry, I just need to check something real quick. It has this got V-Sync because it's kind of skippy, if that makes sense. Like It seems a bit juttery. Shouldn't be. I like that menu as well. It's not your same old crappy menu. Main power. Right, how do I get this to work? So we need uh, it's low pressure. Collect the needed objects. Good to know. Question is, what are the... Ah, a gear, a wrench, a book, a doll. We've already seen the doll. A uh, musical note. I don't actually know what that is. And an ink pot. Okay, so we know where the ink pot and the doll... <gasps> okay. I thought you might... Put this here. I don't know. I don't like the look of this, I don't. No, 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 no. Alright, so we got the pot. Or the ink. I just love how 
quiet it is. It's very, very eerie. I'm scared that he's going to move. Apparently, we needed a record. That's fine. Ah, music. Okay, so we're not actually looking for a physical note. Right, the ink machine's here. We actually didn't go inside here. That actually nearly made me jump, and it's just a slant, it's just a lay down thing. All right, we got the gear. We're doing well. We're doing very well, people. Now, is there a <clears throat> second gear? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll leave now. Okay, I'm I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I. S Hello. Unless I did actually need this. Probably not. What is the wolf? What was that? The hell did I just get? Is this ink or? Okay, weird. But if you guys actually like this, then definitely we're going to play the uh, second chapter because, I don't know, considering it's paid content, I'm guessing it's going to be a, be a bit better, possibly. I have no idea. Ah, oh, it squeaks. Okay, what was the other thing? We needed a wrench. I haven't seen a wrench anywhere. I've seen drips and stuff, but no wrenches. Hmm. Uh, where, uh, where would the wrench be? These cutouts are kind of creepy as well. So we can't go that way, which leads upstairs, apparently. There's a little cutout there. I haven't seen a wrench anywhere, unless we go back to the other room. All right, we'll turn that off for now. No idea why, just because. Are there any wrenches around here? It's the problem with having it uh, looking like an old-timey kind of deal is that everything kind of looks this not not the same i'm not saying that it's boring i'm just saying like the textures and color uh, color palettes are kind of you know i have no idea what i was saying there <laughs> oh, so far so good all right let's head back to the area where we need to plop these this stuff down do i need you did i come down this way i don't believe no i did not all right we can't go this way Like a ritual? The gods, Joey says. Keep things going. Indeed. I think he's lost his mind. But hey, he writes the check. But I tell you what, if one more of these pipes burst, I'm out of here. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure a pipe has burst, so I'm guessing you, my friend, are out of here. Another dark corridor. It feels like I should just be really close to the mic and talk very softly. It's kind of that eerie sort of place. Ink pressure. Can't do anything with it. Is there a wrench around here? Like, oh, damn. I need me a wrench. All right, let's just head back to the pedestal room. This is skippy when we run, isn't it? But we probably will need to run. At some point, at least. Hey, cardboard cutout guy. How you doing, buddy? And it's gone. Oh, it puts it on the pedestals automatically. Okay, that's cool. So we're still missing a book. A book and a wrench. That's it. Hmm. Now, I would have thought we would have found, like, a wrench here. Considering this is, like, pipes and stuff. No. Books. I don't think I've seen a book anywhere. I'm pretty sure. And I doubt we're going to find more, uh, like, this, uh, more than one item in one area. Aha! Yes, we will. The Illusion of Livi uh, Living by Joey Drew. Unless it's like a Slender Man sort of deal, and the more we find, the more they come. I know that sounds weird. Shut up. Where the bloody hell would this wrench be? Okay, you're still here. Let me have a look around your feet, buddy. Okay? Easy now. Just haven't seen. Something's happened this way. Surely the wrench must be in this room. It has to be. I mean, there's gears everywhere and jet. Probably not, but it's good to see. Or good to check. I don't like that low, like, dorm that we keep hearing now. There is no wrench. 
No? Damn. Something is stamping around here and I don't like it. Oh! That's cool, we can actually play the music. Okay, people, so it actually turns out that the um, items can appear in various different places, and from what I know, or sorry, from what I actually had to look up, one of the places could be in Boris's incision. Now, there were three items from, uh, in our situation that were actually in this room, so I'm just gonna... Okay, that's all of them. Thank you. Now I just need to get the ink flowing somehow. Should be a switch around here somewhere. Then I can start up the main power. Alright, yep, that's fine. Restore ink pressure. That took way too long to do. Oh my god. Like, that was at least ten minutes of searching before I had to give up and just look, uh, look it up online. And thank god I did, because I didn't know... Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I looked at OBS at that exact moment. That was not very kind. Was that you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy. Easy. I swear to God, if I get copyrighted for this, I'm going to be pissed. It's kind of cool, though. I like it. Right. Ink pressure's on, which means we can now turn on the main power. Oh, look, the pipes actually jiggle. Ha! <laughs> I like the music. This old style of music is very, very appealing. Try all the doors. What? What? What in fresh hell is that noise? It's okay. Just get back to the power room. Get back to the power room. All will be fine. It's okay. Turn on the power. Great, so now we're in darkness. Running. Um, now where do I go? I swear that ink splodge was not there before. Oh, it's burst, it was spraying out of you, my good chum. All right, that's fair enough. Okay, where to now? Okay, the cardboard cutout's still there. Okay, because that big one's been <laughs> been kind of worrying me just a smidge. So what, do we need to go to the ink machine that's now boarded up? Okay, so if the ink machine's now boarded up, I believe I know where to go next. We've got to go back round to our... Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, to our little workstation, and no. All right, I'm wrong. I honestly thought that that would uh, be unblocked. So where the bloody hell? Restore ink pressure. We've restored the ink pressure, unless it's a timed thing. If it's a timed thing, then bollocks. It's okay, we'll try it. We'll try it. That's a lot of ink on the floor. Wait, there's ink coming from under the door. Huh. Okay. Let's go back around to ink pressure and see if we can uh, flip the switch again. Because if we need to restore the uh, the ink flow again, like really, hey, you're still there. That's fine. No, no, it's on. Pipes are pumping. Maybe we did something wrong in the actual in the like actual power room. So it's not giving us a lot to go on here as to where to go. These guys are starting to creep me out. All of these cutouts everywhere. And where's the one that was stood there? Because he's just disappeared. So main power says running. And it's on. So we've restored the ink pressure. Unless we've actually got to hook it up to the ink machine itself. In which case... I don't know. I ain't got a single dang clue. Oh, fuck me. Wait, wait, what? Okay, I'm running. Jesus Christ! Exit. Do I need to get to the exit? Bugger me sideways, that made me jump. Okay. <laughs> We've met Bendy. Shit. I honestly was not expecting that. That was evil. 
Well done. Well played. Okay. So now we've got to crank this. No? Alright, we'll carry on going down. Don't really want to go down into the belly of the beast, if I'm honest. Do -do 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 At least I know that something like that now prowls around in here. So I can be wary of it. The creator lied to us. Alright. Ooh, this will axe. definitely come in handy. Yeah. Clear an old path. Make uh make your axe may come in handy. Indeed it might. Alright. Let's just smash our way through this. Get back up top, then we can smash through where our office is. Or not office, our work uh, workstation. Is he coming for me? Oh no, it's just blocked the path. Okay, that's fine. There's coffins and a weird kind of... Wait. A wheelchair. Bendy. Um. Okay. Oh, that music is just... Oh, that's beautiful. Alright, so that's the end of Chapter 1, people. Alright, I quite like that. In fact, I really like that. Now I know what I'm actually doing, I reckon I could probably clear that chapter in about five minutes, literally. Well, possibly not. Artist, the Meatly. <laughs> the Meatly, the Meatly, Mike Mood, the Meatly, Mike Mood, Mike Mood. Alright, well, if you did enjoy the first chapter of Bendy and the Ink Machine, be sure to show some love down below by dropping a like. Let me know what you think about the first chapter in the comment section down below, and do you want to see the second? I'm hoping it's going to be longer and better. We shall see, but let me know, please, and other than that, thank you all for watching, and until next time, I shall see you all later.